Hello everyone. Welcome to a study automation. So today I am going to show you how we can automate API using Postman. For example, let's consider we have one API request response dot in req res dot in, and here we can see we have list of APIs. For example, list users, and this is get API. We have single user API and user not found. I mean, all kind of testing API we can find from here. REQ, RES, dot in. So suppose if I need to automate this API using Postman, then how we will do that? So in this video, we will see the same. So let's get started by that. First, we will download Postman. So here in Chrome, we can search postman download and we can go to the first site download postman from here we can just download windows 64 bit version or if we can we want we can go web version as, as well but we wanted to use full feature so i'll go with postman download option and then we will install it so here we can create account or we can just click on skip and go for the app now here we can see we can, uh, we have this option where we can directly execute our api but what we will do we can click on new and then we'll select collection so for collection we need to sign up or, or basically we need to log into the postman so let's do that we can just click on create account and here we just need to fill out username password email id and then click on create free account and after doing that we need to click on login so it will automatically come here but let me go back and login again so now i'll click on sign in and enter my username and password even i can use my google id to sign in so let's do through Google ID. Yeah, so now I'm able to log into my postman. And after login, once you have already created earlier, all the projects will show here. So what we need to do is we can click on new. And from here, you have to click on collection. And in collection, so collection is nothing but it combines more than one request together. Just provide here name. So I'll say res req collection or, or API. Right? Anything you can name it. After that, we can click on add request or we can use this three dot as well. So once you move cursor here, you will see that. And then we can say add request. Now in add request, we can provide here API details. So for that, I'll go to Chrome and here we have REQ RES website and from here we can, for example, let's say I want list of all users. So what I will do, I'll copy this URL first here and then I'll put API URL. slash api slash url put here and then we can click send just to check whether it is working fine or not so if you get response here right in this response we can see we have all the data available here this is this is all users api page 2 <coughs> So we can rename it as well. We can just click here all 
users right all users api and then you will get this detail similarly we can create here another request so we can just move cursor here click three dot and then we can say add request and then suppose if you want um, if you want to create something if you want to perform post request right so our api is api users right you have to just click on it and then open and i'll paste here now this time this is not get api this is post api we want to perform post insert something right so we can just select post and inside post we have to provide the data inside body so for that i will click on body click on raw and then select from here json and then copy the input that is required for this post api so i'll go to post and here we have this thing so although this here it's not mandatory that you can only provide these two things we can add here many things as per our need we can use this for example let's say we have name and job let's click send so now you can see we get the response right and it's 201 that is created 201 response that we get from the api and this way you can do that now i'll say here add user this is my api i'll do save as well right so that it will be available always so here we we can see we have get method we have post method similarly we can perform put method right to to update anything for example if you see here put and inside put if we want to change the job description right so earlier we have job is leader now i want to change something to uh, resident or something right we can do through put api and in put api you have to provide uh, the id right so here we can say id equal to 968 and i want to update on that particular id so i'll just click here three dots and then we can go to add request and now i'll select put so in url we will it will be same right the only thing is we need to modify as per our requirement so for put requirement it is saying you have to provide here id as well so i'll mention here id from the previous one that is 968 and let's say slash id and then in body i need to provide the request so i will do the same raw json and here we can pass the required things for example what, what exactly we want to update so here i am saying that now name should be same the job description should change i have just added here let's try to send it and we get a response now i'll just save it and then go to add go to you know get request so here in get request right users we can get all but the thing is it's mentioned here page number right so in this page number we might not get the particular id the particular thing that we have added so here maybe we have to use some uh, api where it will return single user based on user id so i can use this api so i'll say let's say one more request we can add and in this request we will say this is get request and i am trying to you know let's rename it as well so i'll say get by id right i'm just saving it and here id i can put is let's say 968 just for testing and we'll try to see whether it is available or not all right so it's saying okay so it should be api users and then two okay so it's saying not found right 
but let's say 102 2 it is returned right that means this api is basically just mocking the input right it's not uh, it's not exactly basically returning what we need right so in this case uh, but for learning purpose you can just put here id and then based on that id you will get the response for example in this case it is saying api 2 and then we get this response right so um, in api 2 we have different response and in this response if we can see we have email id first name last name of target image id for image for that um, id so we have these four apis right now similarly we can do delete as well and um, so let me just we can we can shift the order as well right order is also important once you do automation by dragging you can do that so this is how basic you know basic api perform you can you can perform in that uh, postman right so for example we have delete you can perform api and uh, you, you can do the delete operation as well so let's check delete as well so i'll just even you can clone it for example let's say we can see url is everything same just i'll click here and i can say duplicate and then i will rename it right to rename we can just click here and i'll say delete by id so i'll say delete by id and just i need to change the method name delete and then this request i wanted to this user i want to delete and we don't need to pass any body anything right it should be selected as none click send request so you will say 40204 that means it's not available user itself is not available so let's see here api slash user users 2 okay in this case it's saying not available let's try with um, 968 okay so we are getting here 204 which is not available let me say update user so uh, we have this api right although we should save this one it should change the method name here right icon as well these two get request this is delete request i'll put after that then we have add update and delete so basic thing right basic uh, testing you can perform in postman but this is not automation right we have not done anything related to automation right we have just added user id uh, added um, url and then we are checking response manually so now to add here automation right so i mean to add a test case first we can see we have options so let's say in get all users right get all users if i will click send 